The Photopedia, Photopedia document, I have downloaded the picture of my monarch butterfly off of assignment three. In my Photopedia, I call it GD1, first initial, last name, butterfly, eight and a half by 11. So if I click on these two little arrows next to height, it will flip the height and the width so that it will flip my wing. I'm under print, I choose letter, um, I'm good to go. I'm going to leave it there for a minute in case you want to refer to it. I'm going to take roll real quick. So oh, in my uh, Photopea document, everything is good to go. I click create and I have this. I have one layer. I have white and now I'm ready to put in my monarch butterfly. I've downloaded my picture from Canvas. Okay, so I'm going to put my butterfly on my document, and then we'll talk about how to uh, draw the butterfly. Now, <laughs> uh, okay, I go to my file folder. Let's see here. Where's it? Here's my monarch butterfly. I click and drag it over, and there it is. Alt key, I'll zoom in. Now, as some of you have noticed, and this is why I gave the choice of doing either a vertical portrait orientation or a landscape horizontal orientation, the photo is more horizontal. However, I'm not concerned about the blue background. I'm just concerned about the butterfly. And then we can do a background thing later, okay? But the, the butterfly is... Uh, the important part. So the first thing I'm going to do with my monarch butterfly picture layer, I'm going to lock that. So I click on the little lock right above the layer panel and I'm going to lock that. Why, why, why am I locking the picture layer? Oh well, I put that on pause. We're, we got to move on, man. Yeah. So why do I want to lock the picture layer? Anybody can tell me that? So it doesn't move. I don't put anything on it. It's going to stay just exactly how it's supposed to stay because I need that as a reference when I build my vector image of a butterfly. <laughs> now, before we get started, let's kind of um, figure out some specifics about the butterfly. Okay? So parts of it are orange. What other colors? Black, thank you, and white. Anything else? We have yellow, maybe, but yellow and orange, kind of the same color family or hue. We would call them, if we were upstairs in visual arts, analogous colors or similar colors, right? What else is true about uh, this butterfly? What, else, what other is a strong characteristic? I don't want to give away too much, but. Okay, big wings, yes? It's a bug? I didn't quite understand that. Yeah, spots. Yes, there are spots. Now, when you look at the two wings, seriously, you got to look at this for a minute because I'm making your job easier. I really, really am. You look at the two wings, and what's similar about the two wings? They're identical. They're sim well, the butterfly itself is symmetrical. Right. And you could make an argument that the wings are symmetrical, but the wings are what kind of images of each other? We call that mirror image, right? So if you put them together, the shapes and the colors and everything will match up. It's sort of like West Salem High School, right? You divide the school down the middle in the C wing, take off the T wing, and you have a mirror image of the B and the D wings, right? So what I'm going to do as a graphic designer, because I don't want to spend any more time on this than I have to, I'm just going to create one wing, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to copy, paste it, and flip it. I know. And that way, I create half as many shapes as I think I need to. And since it's a mirror image, I don't even have to change the colors or nothing. Right? So it's good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, I, and if you follow along with me, I'm going to create the left wing. And then I'm going to make the right wing from copying the left wing. 
and then I'll and then I'll choose uh, create the body and the antennae and all that kind of stuff. No, nope. he said that wasn't going to happen anymore. He lied. Okay, there we go. So I have the. Uh, oh, wait a second. I guess I. So it's important to kind of think through how you're going to create it first. So, what would be the base color for the wing? Black. Black. Right. And I see the wing is in two sections. I see it as an upper section and a lower section. So I'm going to make two large shapes, kind of like I did with the uh, Titan logo with the pen tool. One's going to be the upper half of the left wing. The other one's going to be the lower half of the left wing. Then I'm going to build the other shapes on top of those large shapes, because I have the orange shapes. I've got the white dots. Oh, this is going to be so cool. I'm telling you, we're going to get this. OK? So. Now, I don't have to worry about creating another layer because both of the layers that I have are locked. I'm going to take my pen tool, which is this one over here. Make sure it says the pen tool. I'm going to make sure that my fill color is no fill. And my stroke color has to be a color that is easy to, easy to see on this image. So what would be a good color to choose on this one? So this, light, this bright green would probably be the best one. The red is a possibility, but I think the green one. So I'm going to choose the green color as the stroke or outline color. Uh, and if I wanted to make it even brighter, I click on this rectangle, and I'm just going to make it super, super bright. Okay, My stroke width. I'm going to bring up to 8 pixels, because Photopea measures in pixels and not points. Alt key, spin my mouse wheel to zoom in to the left wing, because, you know, I'm old. I don't want to squint any more than I have to. Okay. So now I'm going to make one shape around the outside of this top half of the wing. Now, Photopea, the pen tool, sometimes gets a little cranky. That's okay. We can fix the details later. So I start here by the body on the bottom corner of the wing. And I'm just going to try, I'm going to make as long of a curve as I can. Hit my Alt key to change direction. Now I'm going to Now this is where Photopea gets a little funky, so I'm going to make a lot of little lines here. And then I'm going to come all the way back. And now I've got my shape of my wing. I'm going to zoom in. Click and hold on my pen tool. I'm going to choose my curvature tool, curvature pen. And I'm going to try to correct some of these curves here. I hold my space bar down so that I can I'm going to zoom out a little bit, hold the Alt key, spin the mouse wheel, uh, and then I want to continue to Can I stop doing what? Sorry. OK. So I'm going to stop here. OK. Now you can see, as soon as I made the shape, the shape itself created a new layer. Okay. The shape itself created the new layer. Now, I noticed something, and I'll come around. I'm going to pause here for a minute. But I noticed something with some of the um, Titan mascot uh, pen tools, that some people would literally make a whole new line as they were going around the image. Every time you make a new line, it makes a new layer, and it's no longer a shape. It's just lines that are next to each other. right? So now that I have a line that's totally connected all the way around, when I'm ready, I can fill it in with black. I'm not ready yet, but when I get there, I'm good to go. So you have to think shape. You have to think enclosed area, because that's what a shape is. Okay. Uh, and so the first job is to go around the top half of the wing. <coughs> okay. We'll hit pause. I'll we're all, only the left side, and then we're going to copy it. Okay, so let me do this real quick. 
I'm going to leave some people in the dust again, but you know, my way. So there we go. Okay, so I have my pen tool. I got no fill. I've got the green. And I want to, oh. So my pen tool is, I need to make sure I'm on my, on my correct pen tool. Okay, so now I've got my bottom, but obviously I have a lot of corrections to do. So I do my curvature tool, and I'm going to make sure that I'm at least close to the outline of the wing as best as I can. Now, so you see how this, I see a gap between the upper and the lower wing. I don't want that. I want the lines to either overlap or be next to each other. Now, this doesn't concern me a whole lot that it goes into the body because the body's going to cover it later. Okay, so I've got my, I've got two shapes. I've got the upper wing and I've got the lower wing, okay? And so now, for those of you who are, are ready, I'm going to do the 